Привет, господа! In this video, I'm gonna show you all ways to get blocks fruits in blocks fruits. Yeah, in every sea. So watch closely and don't forget to subscribe right now, guys, because it's so important for me and it helps me to grow. Okay, the first and super obvious thing in the game how to get the blocks fruits is to visit blocks fruits dealer. You can find them in any places, for example, in the third sea, in pirate starter location, because I like to play as pirate. So the Blocks Fruits dealer looks like that, and he can sell you all fruits that are available in the game. As you can see from Rocket to Kitsune, but as you guys see, some fruits are out of stock. That means they have random chance to be in the market. And at the top of this window, you will see that new fruits will come after four hours, the stock will be reset and some of the fruits will appear. As you guys understand, the more available fruit will be, the lowest chance to appear it has. So, for example, leopard is so rare in stock and you can wait weeks to appear. Yeah, so that's not a good way. The only thing from this market you can get basic fruit, for example, like flame, light or magma, quake, it doesn't matter because they have a biggest chance to appear. So if you're a beginner in blocks fruits, for example, you can get a light super fast. The next option to get a fruit is a free option, but you have to search a bit or maybe not a bit or maybe a lot is to find random fruit spawn under the tree. Yeah, as you guys know, every hour the blocks fruit spawns in a game in random place in the sea, basically under trees. That's the interesting way to get a fruit, also random, so you don't know which fruit will be. For example, it can be rocket, it can be spring or it can be leopard, doe or whatever. So all you have to do is join the server and search for fruit in their spawn locations. If you want to know those locations, you can watch my video about, about all locations where blocks fruits can spawn. So for example, this is the one of the locations in the first sea. So if you find the fruit under the tree, you can get it for free. You can make it easier by buying fruit notifier, which costs a lot. 2700 Robux costs this fruit notifier, which is a lot. I have this and sometimes it make it easier for me to find the fruit, but I can't say that's the best options to get a fruit. As you can see, I'm just spawning you server and my fruit notifier works and the one fruit is detected as you can see so we're going to check it maybe that will be available fruit which i don't think so let's see basically it's rocket spring or something bad this is the what is that sand fruit okay we just obtained a sand fruit pretty bad fruit especially for grinding if you're a beginner but as you can see you can get it absolutely free if you know the spam location. So you can do it without fruit notifier if you watch my video about all locations in the first C, fruit locations. The next way to get a fruit is to roll the fruit. In every C exists fruit gacha. In the first C, fruit gacha will be in the jungle location, blocks fruit gacha as you can see, and you can roll a fruit. The more level you have, the expensive roll for you will be. As you can see, I'm gonna spend 400,000 belly for one roll. Of course, in the maximum level to get money, it's much easier than in first levels. But anyway, guys, that's a lot. And you can get random fruit. The rarest fruit will be with the low chance. So let's roll and see what fruit I will get. I just got flame fruit, so you don't know what fruit you will get. I'm gonna give away this fruit in my Discord server, so don't forget to join. Link will be in description. I'm playing with my subs there, so you can speak to me, text to me, maybe we can solve your problem in blocks fruits, who knows. Go in description and click join to my Discord. The most easier thing to get a fruit, the most expensive option to get a fruit, is to buy permanent fruit. You can get a fruit just from the shop, and that means if you buy fruit by Robux, you can reuse it every time you want. So that's the best option, but it's so expensive. As you can see, for example, Rumble Fruit costs 2000 Robux, which is a lot. And as you can see, Kitsune costs 4000. So, so expensive. Of course, you can be gifted with the permanent fruit by some other players. For example, you could trade it, but it's so rare and most of the time you have to trade a lot for that. 
so keep that in mind permanent fruits are so expensive in the game so the next thing to get a free fruit is to ask for fruit so where you can beg in for a fruit yeah that's the most common way my subscribers do when see me playing please yeah that's definitely the best way to get a fruit as you guys understand but not the best actually i'm just kidding guys i'm in a good mood right now so i will give the fruit to this sonic phone as you can see is so happy yeah that's another option how to get a fruit but not the best so guys don't begging for fruits another stupid way to get fruit is to buy rocket fruit from when yeah this npc in the Frodland village stands right here also you can find this npc in the second and in third location so i remember exact places right in the comments but from him you can buy rocket fruit for 97 robux yeah for example from the shop you can buy it from 50 robux so if you are stupid and you don't know where to spend your money you can spend it right here for a rocket yeah for 97 and that will be a physical fruit not a permanent fruit so don't do that as you can see i'm in the second c that means we can get another fruit from that and i'm talking about factory raid yeah this raid appears every one hour and 30 minutes in the game this is the place where you can get a fruit how as i said every hour and 30 minutes the factory raid starts this door will open but we can do one special flash tap glitch and to get a fruit you have to deal more damage to this core and if you do that you will get a fruit yeah pretty random fruit but that's what people say the most effective way to farm blocks fruit so the best way to win this raid in is using buddha swords and fighting styles transform buddha and spam him one clicks until you destroy this core but keep in mind that other players can kill you so better to get disabled pvp during this factory raid and you will also in the second c you can trade fruits where you can do it in two locations first will be in the second c and the second one will be in the third c so the in the second c that will be cafe location where everyone trades just right here you have to sit on this chair and the player which you want to trade must be sitting just right there and in the third c you can trade it in mansion also that's pretty interesting way to get fruits especially if you know values of every fruit so you can trade with profits and get better fruits than yours for example every fruit i have spirit control venom and dough for example that was trades if you want to guys find the good offers for fruits you can visit my discord and find the trade channel where you can post your offer or and find the offer that suits you so link will be in the description don't forget to join my discord guys another way to get a fruit is ship rates yeah but it's pretty low chance but you can use it why not you can do it in the second c and in the third c try to find a boat with a big amount of health you have to sail a bit from this island when sea appears and just stand just wait guys just wait until someone appears for example it can be sea beast or ship raid which we need you have to destroy all of it and you can get a fruit for free with a low chance i mean with the low chance you can get a fruit not with the low chance you can get a good fruit okay guys i wait like 15 minutes and nothing has spawned so okay so let's go to another option so in the third sea because this one plays castle in the sea as you guys know and there spawns an event called pirate raid every one hour and 15 minutes and you can get a mythical fruit from this raid how so the pirate raid as you can see there spawn a lot of enemies a lot of pirates you have to defeat them but it doesn't matter because there will be the last boss and and the player who deals the final blow to this enemy to this boss will get a fruit so if you're playing in the private server you definitely can farm the fruits that way the next way to get a fruit is from kitsune shrine this is pretty easy quest you have to wait for a full moon then kitsune shrine will appear if you're in a danger zone 6 then you have to complete the quest in kitsune shrine 
for gathering some embers and with the low chance you can get a kitsune fruit so if you want this fruit farming kitsune shrine will be the better way if you have problems with spawning this shrine you can watch my videos how to spawn this kitsune shrine in a minute watch closely and link you'll find in description so that's how you can get fruits in every sea don't forget to like this video and subscribe guys right now